Hello, welcome to Respecting Your Opponents. So this video is going to be addressing kind of two, two sides of the extreme. Uh, this is for players who are way too aggressive, don't respect their opponents enough, they're reckless, they fight a lot, maybe they're mechanically skilled, but you know, they're, they, they just, they put their team in danger sometimes, or themselves in, they're themselves in danger because they, they're just, they're too reckless. Uh, that's, you know, the one, that's one side of the extreme. Then there's the other side where people are too passive, um, and maybe they fear their opponents too much. They're giving them way too much, too much respect. Um, they're not, you know, attacking their weaknesses and they're just giving up, giving them too much space. This video is going to be more for the, for the first group where people are, are way too reckless. They get impatient. They, uh, you know, they just, they want to fight all the time, things like that. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I tag this soldier with some shots, uh, and and I tag him with Discord. So he's gonna go for the health pack, and what what a what a good player would do who respects his opponent is gonna he's gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna wait for this Discord to go away. I'm gonna maybe dance with the wall a little bit, and then I'll go in at some random time. Instead, he gets impatient, and, and rightfully so. Uh, the time's about to run out. This is the last fight, so. Well, not rightfully so. He shouldn't do this, but you know it's it's understandable why he does this. So let's see. Cool. So he never he doesn't really uh, he doesn't he doesn't wait for Discord. He just goes for it. So he doesn't respect my damage and the fact that I had Discord on him. Most importantly, so uh, let's kind of talk about some other characters like things you need to respect. Uh, let's say you're a Zarya, and uh, and you're up against a Roadhog, you know, it's a 6v6 is a team fight. Uh, uh, Azaria might not respect uh, a Roadhog enough to save her bubble for when he hooks someone. Maybe she just kind of uses her bubble to just mindlessly charge up her energy, which is sometimes it's okay, but, you know, you need, you need to have, you need to recognize situations where you're like, ah, okay, that Roadhog is pretty good. I need to save my bubbles for him. Or, um, or you know, Maybe, you know, you're uh, a tracer going up against a Roadhog and you have no cooldowns and, you know, you have maybe one blink and no recall and you're going to try to fight a Roadhog. Okay, obviously that's disrespecting the Roadhog a lot. Um, so, you know, things that you, you, you need to respect your opponents, you, you need to respect their strengths. So, Ana, you need to respect Grenade uh, and Sleep Dart. Uh, Zenyatta, you have to respect Discord and the fact that he brings a lot of damage. Um, Soldier, you need to respect, uh, you know... Um, Helix Rocket, McCree, you have to respect Flashbang. So all these things, you can think about all these characters and when you're fighting them and you need to think about, oh, okay, how can I, what things do I need to watch out for so that I can, you know, avoid these other characters' strengths. Um, in this particular example, as a soldier, you just need to wait out Discord. Just wait the extra one or two seconds, you know. Same with like Widowmaker and Hanzo. Like when they have their, when, when, when Widowmaker has their ultimate or when, Hanzo uh, Sonic Arrows in area, you have to respect that. So, you know, uh, for people who are really reckless, just really think about, okay, like, you know, what can I do to make sure that I'm not doing things that are just silly and giving up free kills? Uh, so, so yeah, so let's, you know, let's continue with another example. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so so similar situation. So this this soldier actually he does a pretty good job of respecting Discord, but um, I would say I suppose not enough. So we'll, actually we'll let play. So right here he wants to do this dance with me, and he probably can still win this fight, uh, assuming he has Helix Rocket. Cool. So right there, I tagged him twice in a row, I think. Um, and now he's like, oh, crap. Like, okay, I didn't respect this Zenyatta enough. And, you know, he probably, after that first round of getting tagged, he probably should have bailed or he should have used Helix Rocket. I'm not sure if he actually... Oh, actually, you know what? I see that he... I see in the kill feed that he actually just used Helix Rocket. So he probably, when he saw that he didn't have Helix Rocket, he probably shouldn't have, you know, he probably should have respected, you know, the Zenyatta player and be like, okay, like this Zenyatta has Discord on me. He has a wall he can play with. I should probably just bail. Um, so if he did have Helix Rocket, he probably could have 1v1 me and it would have been roughly an even fight. But because he didn't, I feel like he's being pretty greedy here and uh, not respecting my damage. So so at this point, he runs away, but it's too late. And I noticed that. And then, yeah, so like he, he can't win that fight anymore. 
Um, so good on him to decide to run. It was just too late. And like I said earlier, because he didn't have Helix Rocket, he probably shouldn't have taken this fight to begin with. Or, I mean, I don't know, you can make the case that he was kind of out of position. Like, he wasn't really in a position to, 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 to like, run. So this is, this is kind of an iffy one. So anyways. Okay, cool. So now let's look at some examples where people do respect uh, their opponents properly. Oops. Okay, uh, so this is going to be against a Tracer. Okay, so right here, instead of just, you know, go, and actually you can't quite see this, but the health pack is gone. Uh, so she probably knew that because she, actually she's probably the one who took it. Or she, maybe she saw Soldier take it. Anyways, she doesn't just mindlessly go through this choke. She knows that I'm still in this area and she, and she has Discord on. So she's going to blink past this hallway and then, you know, and then Discord goes off and she's going to come and try to fight me. So uh, unfortunately for her, uh, she still, she still loses this fight. So I feel like, but she was getting chased down to uh, by this Lucio, so she didn't really have a choice. Um, but she still respected the Discord, even though she she lost the fight. So so good on her. Um, all right, last video. Okay, right. Yes. Okay, so watch what she does. She's going to do a dance with this, with this, uh, with this Discord, and what it's going to allow her to do, it's gonna let her know that I that that I know that she's there. So watch. Cool. So she 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 faked that she was gonna go into the wall, and then she backed out, and it does two things. One, she waited out Discord, and two, um, uh, she she knows that I'm watching that flank, so that's good intel for her. She's probably thinking, okay, I probably can't come here for the next, I don't know, two to six seconds, so I'm just gonna go do something else. And and she does that. She she actually oh she doesn't. Oh okay. Well now she bails. Okay. So uh, yeah. So I would say even though she didn't back out, that's still a good play because she actually if if we look back. She blinks in, so she's not like, well, let me, let me get a nice. So a lot of times people will walk like right here, right? And this is where you want to throw your orbs. You want to throw them like roughly around the corner. So what she does is actually pretty smart. She blinks so that she's a pretty safe distance to where I probably wouldn't be sending orbs in that direction. Um, so I totally approve of this play. Um, she could have either just backed off and done something else for the next five seconds or because she knew I was there still, she she used a cooldown to get a, a safe distance away from the corner. Then she could decide if she could start fighting me. But she noticed that I was in a really good position, so she's like, ah, screw this, I'm just gonna bail. Um, so really, really intelligent, um, res respectable, or sorry, she played it really intelligently, and she and she respected me. So that's really. Yeah, and then, and then she bails. So, so really smart play on her part. She she saw a fight that she couldn't take, and she just bailed. And you know, and she just she's biding her time, and she's gonna look for a better opportunity next time. Um, so really want to commend that tracer. That was a super smart play because it's you know this game isn't just about you know really super sick mechanics and just shooting people. You have to be really smart about how you approach your your um, your opponents, um, and that's a key way to do it. Um, so in your play, I want you to think about. When you're playing, think about your opponents, think about their strengths, and think about how you can avoid those strengths and attack their weaknesses. So um, this video is primarily about avoiding the strengths of your opponents. So Discord, Helix Rockets, Flashbangs, Sleep Darts, Ana Grenades, uh, uh, Widowmaker Ultimate, Sonic Arrows, and, and Scatter Arrow for that matter. Um, things like that. So, oh, Hook, obviously. Um, okay, cool. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. Good luck out there.